So, this is week four of nursing school. I know I'm a bit behind, um, but basically with school, we're not allowed to have any kind of recording devices, period. So, that's like, you're not allowed to record with your phone, tape recorder, camera, nothing, child. So, whatever. <clears throat> but, um, overall, school is going pretty good it's a lot of information which i did expect it's like a whole whole lot of information um but it's not horrible yet and then maybe because this semester i only have he wants attention this semester i only have like four classes and like some of my days are short right now but next semester i will be in i think they said between six to seven classes so that's going to be a bit much, but what ifs? Um, I have had to get more books because it seems like every freaking class, somebody's mentioning another book that we have to freaking get. So um, I have about three more books that I have to buy um, for just this semester. So um, right now, at least with my total for... This semester, I'll have to do like an actual sit down calculation, but I am, I'm already done hit $4,000, like when it comes to this one semester. So like nursing school is not cheap. If you can get financial aid, please do. If you can get grants um, or anything like that, any kind of scholarships, try your dangest to get those freaking things because it is expensive expensive like very very expensive um next semester with me being in more classes than i am this semester i'm not sure what the price range is going to be yet um with it it may not be at well i'm lying i was gonna say it may not be as much because i already have my uniforms but my uniforms was only a little over three hundred dollars of the no four hundred dollars yeah it was four hundred dollars um of my total so that's not a huge, huge part. Um, and then, like, with the shoes, once you start clinicals, there's, like, you may have to replace your shoes a few times throughout because they may get thrown up on, bled on, peed on, pooped on, whatever the case is. You never know what your patient's issue is going to be. And so that may affect your um, shoes and your uniforms. But whatever. Um, other than that, it's going pretty good. I've already had... One, two, three, four, five. I've had like five exams already. Um, for two of them, I've gotten an A. One of them, I've gotten a B. And one of them, I haven't gotten the grade back yet. Um, yeah, so what's that? That's four. Yeah. <laughs> so I've had like four um, so far. Um, so, so far in my classes right now that I know of, I have an A average in two and a b in one right now and then the fourth one i haven't started that one yet so of course don't know what my grade is going to be in that one yet um but so far so good not horrible um and then as far as the program that i'm doing i'm pretty sure as you see it is the um, vocational nursing program or the LVN or in some states it's LPN program. Um, that is the one that's right under an RN. The reason that I just went ahead and decided to do this one is mainly because when I was looking, the waiting lists for the RN programs are long. Like for a lot of places, they are a few years long, unless you are going to a university. And even at some of the universities, the waiting list is long. So it really just depends on where you're trying to go. With me, I knew I was not trying to sit out of school for four to five years. Uh, well, not sit out of school, but um, not work for four to five years because I do have bills so like I was going to be like drowning in loans if I had to try to do it that way so I knew I wanted to do a two-year college so I did apply for a few two years but um for a majority of them 
I was either not accepted or I was put on the waiting list because a lot of schools do take their own first. So if I'm applying from another school, then that knocks me down on the list because they're going to get their students before they'll take me because I'm coming from another school. Um, a lot of the vocational nursing classes is uh, not classes, but programs are a lot easier to get into because they typically do accept more students. So like for um, like San Jack, where I'm at, for the RN program, they accept, I think it's 30 per um, semester or enrollment period. And then for the LVN, they'll accept 100. So that basically gives more people the opportunity for the the LVN than for the RN every semester. And then I think for the LVN, they accept every semester i believe so i think i know for a fact it's fall and spring i'm not sure about summer but i know it's fall and spring for the rm programs they don't always accept for fall and spring and i know for a fact they don't accept in summer at all um every few years they'll do an ex uh the enrollment for fall and spring but for the most part it's just fall or just spring that's it um, for some of the other schools that I've seen, it's the same way. They have one enrollment period per year, just one. So if you don't, if you're not one of those 30 people for that year, you're sitting out waiting to the next year, hoping that you're accepted into that next year. And I kind of got tired of that because I did that for about, um, two to three years. And of course, with your sciences, you have to retake your sciences every five years. So I've had to retake my sciences twice because um, after my first degree, I had been sitting out for a long time. So I had to retake them um, so they would be good for either this program or when I started for my RN. Because even if while you're in the program, if they expire while you're in the program, you still have to retake it. So that's one more class that you have to retake while you're in the program. And that is for just about every school. It's not just um, San Jack. I think that's all schools that do that, that your sciences have to be within so many years. And then I think it's like your math have to be within the past 10 or something like that. So it's like everything has a, well, not everything, but a lot of your core classes will have an expiration period of how long, you know, those classes will last before you'll have to retake them if you decide to go back for a degree. Um, now with the LVN program, I know a lot of people think, oh, you're going to have to do the LVN. Then if you want to be an RN, you have to do LVN to the ADN RN, then to the BSN RN, but you actually don't. Um, they do have the fast track programs now where you can do the LVN straight through to the RN um, for the BSN. And I believe that transition, from what I've heard with the different schools, it varies from between nine months to two years. And all schools do not have this fast track program. So for that, you will have to do your research to find out which schools have this fast track program. So you'll be able to do that if that's something you wanna do. And now, if you just wanna do your LVN to RN for your ADN, now that program I think is only like nine months. So if you're fine with getting your um, associates in RN and you don't want to go any further, great. You can go ahead and knock that out. You can do that at a junior college as well. The um, program for the LVN to RN, that is separate from the straight through ADN program. There are two separate um, programs. So there's two separate like application periods for the two. So that 30 people that's going to get in for the RN, that's not going to affect you at all because that's completely separate. So it just depends on what you want to do and how far you're wanting to go. So if your goal is to go all the way to your master's, your doctorate, whatever, honestly, any route that you choose is perfectly fine. You just have to basically figure out how much time you want to take um, figure out your finances. So like, can you stay off of work for four to five to six years to get your bachelor's depending on how long it takes? Because truthfully, um, 
I know quite a few people that they have had to retake some classes. So when you have to retake a class, that's an extra semester that you're going to be in school that you probably didn't account for. So the saying that you're just going to be in school four years, that's the goal, but it doesn't always go that way, especially if you are a working adult or you have children or a family or whatever the case is. Sometimes it can cause hindrance and can take a little bit longer. For me, that's part of what took me a little bit longer because I was working. So with me working, I was only able to take one to two classes per semester to try to do my basics and get my basics back up to date so I can apply for the RN program. Um, and then, like I said, after applying for the RN program for around three years and not getting accepted or getting put on the waiting list, I decided I was tired of waiting and I went ahead and I'm doing the um, LVN program. Now, one of the good things about the LVN program is I will be able to be working while I'm going back to get my RN degree. And most hospitals, if you get in a hospital, a lot of hospitals pay for their nurses to go back to further their education. So it is possible that um, once I start working, whatever hospital I decide to go to, I will be able to get my schooling covered. Now, a lot of it is not like they're going to give you the money up front. Most places, they don't do that. What they'll do is a tuition reimbursement. So you'll pay for your tuition, whether you're paying out of pocket or a loan, you'll pay for it. And then after the semester or after the year, depending on your company, you submit your grade and you submit your receipts of how much you've paid and they reimburse you with your money. Um, now, how they reimburse you, that as well depends on your company. They may give you a check just for that or they may include it on your paycheck. It depends on your company. Um, but that's pretty much why I decided to go the route that I'm going is because I felt like I was honestly just tired of waiting. And I felt like I'm pretty much putting my life on hold trying to become an RN because I was basically just staying at my job because it's like, okay, well, I'm making pretty good money here. For the most part, they were working with me on my schedule for me to be able to go to school. And I was just kind of just sitting there taking classes. Some of the classes that I was taking, I did not need. I was just taking classes so I can stay current in the school and to help boost my GPA, get it a little bit higher, retaking the HESI exams, like spending all of this money trying to get into the RN program just to not get in every time I apply. So I was just like, okay, let me try the LVN. With the LVN, at least at my school, you don't have to take any prereqs. So you can come straight in from high school and get into the LVN program. All you have to do is um, basically go through the um, application process. And so for each school, your application process is going to be different. Some schools want you to take the HESI exam before the LVN, some don't. Um, and you're going to have to have all your transcripts and everything from your high school and everything like that. If you're coming straight from high school or if you're transferring from another college, of course, you're going to need all of that information. Since I was already um, going to San Jack, they already had all my transcripts and everything, so all I really had to do was fill out the application, go get my shots, um, get my drug test, my background check, and that was it for the application. Then you submit all of that either by mail or in person, and then they send you an email and a letter letting you know whether or not you were accepted. Um, once you get that, you do have to reply via email whether or not you're accepting the position. After you do that, they forward you more information in regards to the LVN program. Once you get that information, it will include when you need to do your orientation. The orientation is mandatory. You do have to go to the orientation. Um, it's normally during the week, so if you work, you will have to take off that day, if you work during the day, um, to go to the orientation. With the orientation, they're going to give you all the information as far as your uniforms, making sure that you have any extra vaccines, um, you're going to need to go get your fingerprints done. Like it's, it's a few other things that you're going to need to do that they're going to let you know that you need to do it at the orientation. And then after that, you submit everything 
first day of school, you're good to go if you have all of that done and if you've registered for your classes. Um, for us, with the fingerprints, that's how you get your blue card. Your blue card is basically something that you get from the Department of Nursing, letting them know that you are safe to practice, that you can go into the hospital, you can go to clinicals, and you can practice. Um, so they do advise that you do that at least a month before school starts because it can take you a while to get your blue card. Like, it took me a full month to get my blue card. So I didn't have it the first day of school but I did have it like the second week of school so they were fine with that um and all of that stuff it does add up because you have to pay for that out of pocket the school does not give you any money for that even if you're getting financial aid your financial aid is going to pay for the stuff through the school it is not going to pay for your uniforms your shots your drug tests your insurance your anything it's just going to pay for your tuition and your books and anything that you buy out of the bookstore that's it. Um, if you're getting an overpayment, like if you get enough for financial aid, then you will get your money, basically get your money back um, for everything when they give you your refund check. But for me, I don't have that luxury, so I just had to pay out of pocket. <laughs> um, but pretty much, I think that's it. Um, if I missed anything, or if it's something that you want me to elaborate on a little bit more, leave me a comment and I will try to talk a little bit more about it. Um, other than that, thanks for watching.